Hey, seen any signs lately? Well, here's one. Signs help us because they tell us where we're at and where we're going. Well, in, in our first reading, Samuel did not have a sign. He only had a voice. And so he didn't know what to do. Finally, Eli figured out it was the voice of God and sent Samuel back to bed. God called and Samuel answered. That was the sign he needed. Another sign, if you will, is our bodies. In fact, Paul says in that second reading in verse 19, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Our bodies are a sign. That means the words that we speak, the actions that we take, the thoughts that we have, we have that because of our faith in Jesus and it will show forth to other people as a sign. This idea also comes out in our gospel reading there from John 1, because Jesus said to Philip, follow me. His life, Philip's life, was going to be a sign to others that he was following Jesus. And what did Philip do? He went and found Nathanael. And eventually, Nathanael recognized who Jesus was. And his life also became a sign. Folks, our lives are signs that we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. He makes all the difference in the world.